From the Ohio River Bluffs to the Grassy Till Plains, Southwest Ohio has many fantastic state parks. I'm Big Dave, the Parks Professor. In my 26 years of hiking, I have visited and hiked in every state park in Southwest Ohio. For purposes of these videos, Southwest Ohio is the part of the states south of I-70 and west of US-23. In these videos, I'm going to rank all 16 of those parks starting at number 16 and ending at number 1. In this video, we're going to look at the bottom 8. These rankings are solely my opinion and they are based on the park's scenery, amenities, hiking options, and when applicable, historical value. Starting with number 16, we find Madison Lake State Park. This park is located in the Darby Plains just west of Columbus. The park is only 106 acres in size, it has a small lake, a swimming beach, a few picnic shelters, a short half-mile nature trail, and that's it. It's a nice place for locals to spend a lunch hour or maybe a day by the lake, but there's no unique scenery, and nothing other than personal convenience would make you choose this park over any other state park in southwest Ohio. Coming in at number 15 is Lake White State Park. Like the previous park, this park has only a lake and some picnic shelters. It has no hiking trails or swimming beach, and I thought about ranking this park at the bottom. I ended up giving it a slight edge over Madison Lake because the lake is bigger, and therefore the boating and fishing are better. Also, the surrounding hills of southern Ohio give this park an edge in terms of scenery. Still, the lake is the only real reason to come here, so I can't rank this park higher than here. Moving up to number 14, we find Rocky Fork State Park. Like the two previous parks, the main attraction at this park is a lake, namely Rocky Fork Lake. But this park has a few other amenities. It has three short hiking trails, none of which have any unique scenery. It has a couple of short recreational disc golf courses. But the main advantage this park has over the previous two is its 130 site developed campground and this is the lowest ranked park in these rankings with a developed campground. This is a nice, quiet, and somewhat remote place to come and spend a day or camp for a weekend, but there's no reason to come here over most other parks in Southwest Ohio. Flowing in at number 13 is Little Miami State Park. This was the hardest park in these rankings to rank because it's not a traditional state park. In fact, all this park is is a rails-to-trails project, i.e. a former railroad track that has been converted to a paved bike path. But the bike path extends for nearly 50 miles, and it connects to over 20 more miles of bike paths. Also, much of the trail goes along the Little Miami River, which is the most scenic waterway in southwest Ohio. I used to come here a lot in the winter and hike segments of the paved bike path, when other trails were too muddy or too frozen. This definitely isn't my favorite state park in southwest Ohio, but the scenery and hiking options are good enough to deserve a place in your travel regimen. Coming in at number 12 is Adams Lake State Park. With this park, I need to explain something about how I considered these parks. Some of these state parks have adjacent parkland that the state manages as a state forest or a state nature preserve. In those cases, I have taken all of the adjacent state lands into consideration when forming these rankings. This state park has the adjacent Adams Lake Prairie State Nature Preserve. The state park consists only of a small lake, a playground, a short paved walking path, and a few picnic areas, but the nature preserve protects some rare xeric or pocket prairie, and it has a couple of short but nice nature trails. Considering only the state park, this park would rank near the bottom, but factoring in the nature preserve brings it up to here. Still, the amenities are limited, the trails are short, and most hikers will have a better hike in the expansive nearby edge of Appalachia Preserve than here. Growing up at number 11, we find Sycamore State Park. Located on the west side of Dayton, this is the highest ranked state park in these rankings that does not have a developed campground. It does have a nice fishing lake and some picnic shelters, but what sets this park ahead of the previous parks is its trail system. 
The park has 18 miles of bridle trails, 6.2 miles of snowmobile trails, and four hiking trails totaling roughly eight miles. There isn't any truly unique scenery here, but the sycamore trees and osage orange bushes along the creek are pretty scenic. The park centers around Wolf Creek and occupies relatively flat terrain. When I lived in this area, I found the fairly easy trails to be good early season hikes that give you plenty of easy distance and prepare you for harder and longer hikes later in the year. Thus, this park definitely deserves a place in your hiking travels. Before we enter the top 10, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like this sort of video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe buttons. That helps other people find this video and encourages me to bring more of this sort of thing your way. Moving up to number 10, we find Stone Lake State Park. The next few parks look very similar at first glance. They all have some developed overnight lodging in the form of camping or cabins, a lake, and a nice trail system. This park occupies a fairly flat piece of land on the northeast side of Greater Cincinnati. It has a small developed campground and the usual lake and picnic recreation. The park has four hiking trails totaling about four miles, but none of them pass any unique scenery. Also, the soil here really holds the moisture, so the trails can get very muddy after a rain. This would be a very unremarkable park except for one amenity, it's this golf course. It's an 18-hole intermediate to advanced level course, and it consistently ranks as one of the best disc golf courses in all of Ohio. Honestly, I enjoyed my round on the disc golf course more than I enjoyed my hikes here, and that's kind of unusual for me. Coming in at number 9 is Cohen Lake State Park. This park occupies a somewhat rural location about halfway between Cincinnati and Columbus, so it doesn't receive a large number of visitors. It has a small developed campground, a relatively new disc golf course, the usual lakeside aquatic recreation, and six short and fairly easy hiking trails. While this park does not have any truly unique scenery, the Emerald Woods hiking trail does take you through a fantastic grove of old growth beech trees. But my favorite thing at this park is the lotus colony in the shallow upper end of the park's lake. This is one of the largest lotus colonies in all of Ohio. The large yellow flowers put on a real display in late July and August. I've come here to see the lotuses several times, and they've never disappointed me. Well, that's the bottom half. We'll look at the top half in the next video. Until next time, I'm Big Dave, the parks professor for parking full-time. Have a great afternoon, take care, and Lord bless.